Hey everybody, Carl here from Apt. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to assemble and install the pedestal that comes with your new LG C2 OLED. Once you have all your parts ready to go, you're gonna take this piece here, and there's, there's a few things going on. First off, there are two tabs right here. Those are going to lock into place in these two cutouts right here. But then you also have these three cutouts on the front of this piece as well. And those are gonna line up with these three different bump outs right here. So you turn this piece around so that the grid pattern is facing towards the front of the pedestal. And that's gonna slide into place. And it's gonna stop here. And from this point, you're gonna have to push it down so that those two tabs click into place with the two cutouts on the pedestal. It does take a little bit of force to get this piece into place, so make sure you, you are probably using two hands to do that. Once it's in, you should be able to pick it up by that piece without any problem, but then also you're gonna have these two spots here that match up because we are eventually gonna put two screws into these two holes right there. Before we do that though, we're now going to flip it upside down. And then you're going to have two holes right here, and that's where we're gonna put our first screws. For this part, we're gonna need the M5 by L20 screws, which are labeled A in the instructions, but you can also tell because they have a less dense thread pattern. And we're gonna take two of those and just put them into those two holes on the bottom. And everything should be lined up, so they should go in pretty easily for you. And those do take a little bit of effort, so make sure you're being patient so you don't strip any of the screws, but they do take a little bit of effort to get down. Now that we've got those in, we're gonna flip the pedestal back upright so that we're looking at the front of the pedestal, and then you have this grid pattern here, and we're gonna take our remaining two M5 by L20 screws, and those are gonna go into these two holes right here. And again, these do take a little bit of effort to tighten down, but just make sure you're being patient and those should go right in. Now we have our TV laying face down on a soft surface. We're gonna take our power cord and just move it up so it's out of the way. And then we're gonna take our pedestal so that the front part is facing down and then you have two tabs, two, two tabs right here, that are gonna go into these two notches right down here in the base. And that'll kind of hold it in place. And if those are on there right, then you're gonna have your four screw holes here and those will line up perfectly. If you're looking down into it, you'll be able to see that they're lined up. Now we're gonna take our final screws and these are the M4 by L16s and you'll notice they have a little bit of thread lock on the bottom of them, so it'll be blue. These are also labeled B in the instruction manual. And we're just gonna drop those into place and tighten them down. Now you're gonna grab a friend and tilt the TV back upright. My friend is Joe, if he's not available, any friend who can lift a small amount of weight can do. Thank you, Joe. And finally, we're gonna take the H-shaped piece and there are four tabs at the top that are gonna line up with four notches inside. And we're gonna kinda move our power cord to the middle here so that it comes out of the bottom. And there's a little hole right here that's gonna match up with a little hole on the bottom so you know you're facing the right way. And that's just going to slide up and these two pins in the back are going to go into these two rubber washers down there and that'll hold everything in place. And that's all there is to it. There are several steps and you do have to make sure you get the correct screws into the right places. So you do wanna watch out for a couple things, but overall, not terribly complicated. So good luck to you all at home. Thanks as always for watching and we will see you in the next one. Thank you.